I think one of the things that everyone should do is get chickens because they give us eggs. Like, what's not to love? In the morning, especially because it's so cold, I'll make the kids porridge and then I'll make them some porridge and then I'll take it outside and then you can see a steaming bowl of porridge and they, they, they eat porridge, so they're slightly spoiled. Do get yourself a labelling machine. There's this little button that just goes click and it just clicks out. It is the most satisfying. It's the, it's the best £12 I've spent. If I could label my kids, I would label my kids. Do watch Game of Thrones. It took me years to get into it. Somehow you get past the incest and the blood and the gore and the smashing of skulls and you're like, this is not that bad. When you're having like jam on toast at midnight, you're like, this is okay, I can do this. Don't let the kids tidy up after themselves. No, don't let them, don't. <laughs> My God, that came out wrong. <laughs> don't, yes, don't tidy up after your kids. From a very young age, since they were very little, I've kind of let them watch me and then said, oh, do you fancy, it? it's a choice. I'm like, do you feel like picking up that plate? They're like, yes. Yes, I feel like picking up that plate. And if you ask my eight-year-old daughter what her favourite job in the house is, I can guarantee she would tell you it's to clean the toilets. Don't limit yourself. Encourage yourself to be scared a little bit because there's something about the feeling when you're on the other side of fear. It's the best feeling in the world. Don't let technology take over. We have a really strict rule in our house. So we've got a little biscuit tin, and every day after school, every day when I get back from work, phone goes in the tin, but when they go to bed, I take my phone out. They don't know that though, but they will now. Just smile.